Heart failure is an epidemic for which there is no cure. But there is an effective way to diagnose heart failure and assess the risk of cardiovascular events. The NT Pro BNP assay. Here's why. During heart failure, volume and pressure overload in the heart can stress the heart wall. In response, the heart muscles release the molecule ProBNP. ProBNP is cleaved into the active molecule BNP and the inactive molecule NT ProBNP. BNP and NT ProBNP are used as cardiac markers to assess patients with or at risk of heart failure. You're probably very familiar with BNP, but how much do you know about NT Pro BNP? While both of them are recommended by the guidelines, there are some advantages to using NT Pro BNP. BNP and NT Pro BNP are two distinct molecules with different profiles and behavior characteristics. It's critical to understand the difference between the two markers for laboratory scientists, for clinicians and physicians, but most of all, for patients. The differences between NT Pro BNP and BNP also impact results in the lab. Did you know that congestive heart failure patients typically have eight to 10 times higher levels of NT Pro BNP than BNP? Although BNP and NT Pro BNP are released into circulation in a one-to-one -one ratio, BNP is cleared from circulation quickly because it's an active molecule while NT Pro BNP, as an inactive molecule, remains in circulation longer. This means NT Pro BNP has a six times longer half-life than BNP, leaving many more NT Pro BNP molecules in circulation to be measured. The Valhef study revealed that NT Pro BNP has also been shown to be superior to BNP for predicting mortality and morbidity or hospitalization for heart failure. It's also been successfully used to assess the risk of readmission. An important study showed that NT Pro BNP is a powerful predictor for adverse outcomes in patients with acute dyspnea with and without heart failure. NT Pro BNP is equally powerful in the lab. Studies have shown that BNP levels in patient samples fall by up to 20% in the first four hours when stored or transported at room temperature, while NT Pro BNP is stable at least 48 hours. And that makes NT Pro BNP especially valuable for outpatient testing. Do you have any snowbirds or frequent flyers among your patient population who may be getting tested at different labs throughout the year? If so, then you should be aware that BNP demonstrates high variability of results across manufacturers. Therefore, results from any two labs may not be comparable unless they have the same supplier. In contrast, NT Pro BNP assays demonstrate superior inter-assay agreement and thus are considered more comparable across assays and labs. This is critical for patients who travel because conflicting data can create confusion. Results from patients tested with NT Pro BNP demonstrate a much better agreement between the different assays, which can be classified as substantial or almost perfect. NT Pro BNP also enables consolidated cardiac testing on one fully random access system, offering a high degree of efficiency and cost effectiveness in lab operations. Are you using BNP to test heart failure patients who've been prescribed a neprilysin inhibitor such as Entresto? The Paradigm Heart Failure Study showed that the neprilysin inhibitor Entresto was superior to enelopril in reducing the risks of death and hospitalization in heart failure patients. Neprilysin helps clear BNP from circulation, but Entresto inhibits neprilysin activity, which actually increases BNP levels. An increase in BNP can be caused by worsening of heart failure or by the effect of neprilysin inhibitors, making patient assessment difficult. This makes NT Pro BNP a more suitable biomarker in patients being treated with Entresto. The complications arising from use of neprilysin inhibitors also impact diagnosis and risk assessment of heart failure in acute settings. If BNP is used as a marker in the ER, 
it can become very challenging for clinicians to accurately determine if the elevated BNP levels are the result of the drug or due to the patient's condition. The use of neprilysin inhibitors is becoming more widespread. Talk to your cardiology team about their use of neprilysin inhibitors, such as Entresto, or talk to them about switching to the NT Pro BNP assay. Let us help you make the transition. Our transition kit will help you discuss the benefits of NT Pro BNP with your cardiology team, medical director, and pathologists. Get buy in from your cardiologists and work with your hospital to develop strategies to transition from BNP to NT Pro BNP testing. Are you ready to upgrade to NT Pro BNP? Let's get started today.